Crary, boss, was that a boss? <laughs> Paul, well, you are my boss, right? Boss, uh, Paul, was that a question of the best side lost on the night? Well, everybody keeps telling me that, but we just didn't have the smarts to finish the game off at the end. I thought we had them absolutely on the rack. Caught up with a, a poor kick at the, the back end of the game. Really could have drilled it in touch or put it up in the air on Rijad, put massive pressure on him because he didn't look comfortable under a high ball. So that's what we wanted to do. And, and probably Ryan hadn't been playing for a while, he's had a bad shoulder and he opted to run the play and, and, and to be fair I think it was Patterson picked it up off his bootlaces and, and they're off down the other uh, other end and then we give a penalty away that allowed him to put points on the board but it was just an epic battle and both sides after the weekend we had a big game at Fev battered and bruised and to put a performance in like that we're just so proud of the, the lads for the, for the effort they put in so errors are going to be a, a factor but again we can't we can't criticise the boys too much No, John Smith playing at hooker uh, youngsters in at half back here, Paisley playing his first game, several alterations to the side that won at Featherston. <clears throat> You've got to be like, delighted not only with the performance, but uh, with a bit of strength in depth you're getting back now with a get ahead of the important championship games ahead. Yeah, definitely. We've come a long way in probably six or seven weeks. You know, we've got players back, and, and when we've won with a group of players, when we've, we've fixed up and put people in, they've, they've rose to the occasion as well. And to come against a, a top quality side like Leah running second in the championship, uh, like Fev were, and, and, you know, and probably playing the better football. And we're comfortable, real comfortable at times, but just we probably fatigue factor set in a few times with our middles and we forced the ball. But we wanted to play through the middle, so I didn't want to stop them playing. So I'll take responsibility for that. But we come up with some players when we should have really kept running hard. Uh, and, but we're just so proud of the lads. It's really difficult to back up after, after a big game at Fev away from home. But, and to do it in the manner we did was just outstanding. But again, we can't feel sorry for ourselves. I said that to him in there, you know, they're absolutely devastated. We've got to back ourselves up and get ready for, for what will be uh, to lose coming to town, we're probably at full strength. Um, <clears throat> apart from the team that took the field tonight, you've obviously got uh, uh, half backs to come back in Dallymore. You've got um, hopefully uh, Charnock when his band finishes. You've got Ben White to come into the side. Hopefully Stack if he comes back from Australia. How's the injury room looking to add some strength to that? I think we got through that game okay. With the star, we got the call off the physio tonight that he was he was hamstring was pulling. So we were going to give him ten minutes in the second half. I'm going to monitor him closely. But as soon as we got the call to get him off, we got him off there. John Smith we've had to look after him the last few weeks now because he's got a problem with his knee so he started off off in the middle they put a lot of traffic over the top of him so we got him out and I thought Brett Carter went into the halves and did a really good job for us and you know a couple of kicks were a bit strong but he hasn't played there for a long time but he runs the ball pretty well and he's strong so we just we just wanted to keep it simple and I just play through the middle play out dummy half a little bit limit our errors and play between the middles and take the pressure off the halves to play and I thought we did that really well and it really worked for us